Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, nah, this ain't no clickbait. What's up, y'all? It's Tasha. I'm back with another solo. Before I get into the video, I want to ask you guys to please thumbs this video up if you like it. Share, comment, and subscribe if you are new here. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. Baby, tell them what we're doing today. Today, you guys, I'm doing a mukbang from this place called Fat Sal's. They make fat, greedy, gluttonous sandwiches. I didn't get one of those today, although I wanted to. Instead, I got cheeseburger french fries and a Philly cheese steak sandwich, which I've, which I've never had before. So, let's get into the video. All right, y'all, I'm fake back. I'm about to start smashing. These I've had before, like two years ago. I loved it. I've never had a Philly cheesesteak, like I said. So I'm going to try that. Um, and I have a topic. I actually have two topics. I don't know if I'm going to get to both of them, but I'm going to get into this cheeseburger salad. So this cheeseburger salad, I'm sorry, cheeseburger fries has, it's a, it's called fat salad sauce, but it's Italian. It's um, like Thousand Island lettuce, tomato, pickles, french fries, bacon, and hamburger. Yes, bacon cheeseburger. Here, I'm sorry, y'all. There you go. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. Let me tell you. If you live in L.A., go to Fast Styles and get this. I don't know what else I can recommend, but this, if you like Big Macs, but you wish they taste like real, that's what you do. This is like a Big Mac, but times 1,000. Everything tastes so real and, and fresh and just bomb. Man, the Thousand Island sauce is bomb. It's not Thousand Island sauce, it's Fat Sal sauce. I just wish it broke apart better so y'all could see, but it is what it is, y'all. This is bomb. I got this one from the one in Westwood. They also have one in the Valley area. And y'all think I can put this in my mouth? Probably. Mm hmm. Mm. I hope I still got some more of that sauce. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. This is so bomb. I don't even want the sandwich, but I'm gonna bite it at least once. But I'm gonna go get my ghost pepper pickles. I got some pickles. They hot as hell, but I, I need one. Hold up. All right, here, I got my ghost pepper pickles. Y'all, I love hot pickles. I love jalapeno hot pickles. I went overboard with the ghost pepper, but it's all good. It's all stuck together. It's annoying, but it's still bomb. Y'all know I like my food hot. This is not hot, but that's how good it is. Come on, I don't wanna have to open my mouth like that. Mm -mm. I'm not about to do all that. Mm. It's so good. I'm telling y'all, I promise. I will not lie. This is the cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger fries. Mm -mm -mm. These are ghost pepper pickles. They are not sweet. Even though they look like sweet pickles. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, they hot and good. <clears throat> All right. This might be the only bite I take. I'm not going to lie. I don't waste it. This is my first time having it. I don't think I should have got these sweet... Um, peppers on it. I don't like the way they go with it, but um, pretty good. I bet you it tastes better in Philly. Mm. 
Mm. Pretty good. But these, these still the show. These are so good. Ooh, I'm about to start my topic in a minute, y'all. Because I kind of want to get to them both. <clears throat> Come on. All right, I really need some advice. I'm 31 years old, currently living in Indianapolis with my boyfriend, excuse me, who's 26. We moved here in February for him to go to pilot school. We had some issues before we moved from Southern California. He cheated and I decided to move, I decided to forgive him and move anyway and start a new life with him. Well, since we got here, communication has been terrible. He doesn't like to talk things out after a fight. We barely are intimate and I feel the emotional connection is just gone. We decided to end things because we both didn't seem to be happy. I'm moving back home in a month, but it seems that since we ended things, we are now getting along great. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. I lost a job. Hold on. All right. The connection seems back. And yes, we are intimate. I know it's bad after breaking up, but now I'm back and forth on my decision to go home. We love one another, but I just don't know what to do now. Help. I think we are getting along because we know we ended it and there's no pressure. Or am I giving up too easily? Mm hmm I feel like there's no pressure. I feel like because you, and the only reason why I say this is because you, you said that he cheated on you, you know, in the past. Now the thing is, he probably doesn't feel, you're the one reaching out, so you're the one that really has a problem. He ain't got no problems because he's cool with having free, you know, free range of you. He basically, in my opinion, is like, oh, okay, we ain't together, so now I can cheat freely. There's no pressure. He's still going to do what he do. I say you still got to go. Because basically now you guys are just friends with benefits. But living with each other. Um, I don't know if it's you or just him, but now you guys are getting along. I feel like it's probably just him. You guys are getting along because he's okay. He's not causing you any stress. He's not, you know, um, ignoring you and emotional connection gone yeah mm -mm. it's gonna be the same thing you're gonna do that and if you guys decide okay I want to be back into it back in a relationship he's just gonna go and do the same thing um, again you're gonna start having issues dang okay you just all want to fall apart y'all gonna start having issues again <clears throat> and it's gonna be exact exact same thing after they leave and go home and if you guys are supposed to be together, he's going to call you and be like, you know what? After he does his thing, you know what? I want you back or whatever. But mm -mm. he's probably not ready. He probably wants to play the field or have fun and doesn't want to be in a relationship. Leave him. Be. Move on with your life. Meet somebody else. Get married, have kids. And let him wish that. He did what he was supposed to do. Period. Not even that that's what he's supposed to do. Some people grow apart. He might just be done, you know. Or the fact that he cheated is one thing. He's just not ready to be committed. And there's no matter what you do. Not there's no matter, but you know what I'm saying. No matter what you do, if someone doesn't want to commit, they're not going to commit. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, these fries are not hot 
at all. But it's like, it doesn't matter because they're so good. That's weird because y'all know I love me some hot stuff. Y'all really just gonna stick together like me? Mm -mm. I don't care. I don't even care if Stephanie look at this video and it's like, mm -mm, I ain't even putting this out. It don't look good. That's fine because I know she's looking at the edit right now like, mm -mm, that does not look good. Oh well. It is what it is. This is good, y'all. I'm telling you. I don't know this. I would not be eating it all. Alright, I got another topic. Because, yeah, I got another topic. Quick topic, too. recently went through a breakup after five years he was a cheater and the last year he stopped working so I was paying all the rent and bills on my own I told him I wanted to break up he would not listen and he would not leave for the last six months so I finally told him you have to try to get your stuff together and leave so I gave him three months every day he would play video games day and night um, before you know it three months was up and during the time he was awful he would take in my phone take my keys the pink slip to my car so I got fed up and finally just put him out. Well, now he's homeless and he messages me every day, crying and depressed, asking to come back. His mom and family turned on me also. The last day he took $420 from me that was put aside for my daughter's school clothes. Oh, hell no. Mm -mm. Nah, bruh. So I sold his 60 inch TV to replace the money. Now his family is trying to send police to my house. I feel bad that he is homeless. He is telling his family to stay out of it, but he is asking if he can come back to stay until he gets on his feet. Nope. None of his family is helping him. I feel bad. What should I do? Run. Okay. That's my answer. You ain't got to feel bad for him. He didn't feel bad for your daughter when he stole that money from you, right? Mm-mm. Hold up. Hold up. Mm, 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 mm. This is really good. I just wish they put more, um, Mm. We should put more stuff in my lawn. It's dry too. Mm -hmm. It's dry as fuck. Mm -hmm. It was good though. Okay. So, I'm not saying that I'm perfect. And, oh, kick him out. You shouldn't have him there after he did that to your daughter all that because I've been in a situation before where I was in a relationship and basically putting my ex out was causing her to be homeless and I kind of let her stay. Um, again, and then finally got to a point where I was like, nah, you gotta go. So, I know it's not easy, but my life became... 25,000 times better once I let her go. They are a burden. He's not a human. He's a burden. That's how you have to look at him. I'm not saying that that's exactly, you know, the truth, but you got to look at him as a burden. All he's doing is taking from you. You told him three months. He thought that, uh, he thought that you were playing with him, right? And the funny thing is I read your comment from, cause it was two, um, two different paragraphs. I read the bottom first, and my first instinct was, let him stay. He didn't take you seriously. Let him stay. And now give him, you know, three months or a month or whatever, and maybe he'll actually do something with his life since he's been homeless and he knows how it feels. But no, he stole from you. When you put him out, 
he's took that money the last time because he felt like, oh, I'm never going back, so let me do whatever. So he's the type of person that will, if he doesn't have anything to lose, will do anything. He felt like he had nothing to lose by taking that money from you. So if you get him back into your house and he gets into a situation where, you know what, if I hurt her, I ain't got nothing to lose because if, if I don't hurt her, I'm going to be homeless. If I hurt her, at least I can stay here for a little while or hide, you know, hide her. Whatever the case is, you definitely don't want to let him back in your house because he seems like the type of person that will do anything. Um, anybody else got any suggestions for her, let her know. Because uh, that's it. That's how I feel. Don't trust him. Don't let him in. He's going to have to keep knocking on the door, whatever it is he's doing every day. But he got to go. All right, so I'm done with this video, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I was not feeling this sandwich at all. Um, it's okay, but it's not for me. I don't think this is how a Philly cheesesteak tastes. If it does, then um, I don't like Philly cheesesteaks. Sorry, Philly. But yeah, that's gonna sit right there. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, we have a vlog channel, Steph and Tasha Vlogs. Links in the description below. Set your notifications to all so you'll be reminded of daily uploads, live streams, premieres. And until next time, y'all, only good vibes. Peace.